J back at it again with the same hairstyle y'all see me wearing in every video. But that'll change. I swear I'm hearing noises in my house. I'm like, what, what, what? But anyway, y'all, I am coming at y'all with a Netflix suggestion 2020 video or whatever. Period. Okay. So this Netflix suggestion video is going to have trailers and everything. So I'm going to be putting y'all on today. Okay, let's get into the video. The well, first one is Ozark. And this is a series. Um, it's basically about a family needing to relocate themselves because a money scheme went wrong. So they were like some drug dealers, you know. I think they was in like the drug business or something. But like, here's the trailer if I didn't explain that well because I know I did it. Money, that which separates the haves from the have-nots. Patience, frugality, sacrifice. Deciding to invest in your family's future and taking responsibility for the consequences of those actions. Mr. Bird? Hello. Trevor Evans, FBI. FBI? What's yeah. going on? We believe your husband's partner was murdered. What? Let's all stop playing this game, shall we? The lying, the running. Aren't you both tired? We made a choice to move our family to a more peaceful place. Mom, what are we doing here? Your father's laundering money for a Mexican drug cartel. Honey, where's my five million dollars? It's almost going to die. Relax. Why do I have this feeling we both know that you'd be better off dead? Marty! We're gonna kill your family. And be done with all this madness. Jesus, Marty, he knows the kids' names. Last chance for witness protection. This is just another betrayal, isn't it? How long have you been planning this? You have walled me out! Money is, at its essence, that measure of a man's choices. What you do today for our family? The next show is called Never Have I Ever, and this show is very interesting. It strikes my fancy, okay? but it's really weird so basically it's about an indian girl um she basically wants a new life you know she wanted to be like popular and stuff like that and she basically wanted to lose her virginity to the hottest boy in school y'all here's the trailer what mom i'm fast asleep you don't look like you're asleep what are you doing here i'm doing exactly what i said i'd do i'm here to have sex with you gonna be our year you can feel it but we're not cool would a not cool person wear one dangly earring which brings me to my plan we're rebranding i have chosen attainable yet status enhancing people for each of us today hey jonah you smell great today it's forever by mariah carey oh this is why you don't mess with me see i'm technically best that ever be yes i'm blessed indeed so don't test me please i am hercules i unleash the beast you look like an indian kardashian i want to talk about a major event that could happen popping my cherry doc oh lord we are smart and idiots are banging all the time we can learn how to do it too word of advice just give up oh yeah i won't be able to walk again tomorrow because i'm about to go get railed peace out virgin you just seem lost ah! and i'm not lost high school's a dick are we allowed to say dick now i just want to be a normal teenager Whoa, what are you doing? Don't worry, he won't hurt me. Normal teenagers end up in prison. Or worse, working in Jersey Mike's. In a situation, you don't know what to say. So why the end You're a weird girl. <laughs> yes, I am. Buckle up for some steamy teen romance. <laughs> oh, shit. movie is called unorthodox and it's about a jewish lady wanting to relocate herself and leave the jewish community because she wants a new life she wants to start over she want to be normal here's the trailer you escaped didn't you 
You make it sound like I was in prison. Weren't you? No, but I left without telling anyone. Why did you leave? God expected too much of me. The shot cannot get rid of me. It's not for a book, it's there. It is the eight nine him. Get her rig. The pin under the speed under the might. Under the ski. Where I come from, there are many roads. And says, Don, hi, the gift left to me. Kind of down the loops, not sure. My family just cares that I'm a good wife and mother. I had to get as far as possible for my community. So, will you help me? Your ticket? Your passport? Good luck in Berlin. Where are you from, Mr. New York. Never been anywhere else. Then I sit up more on the strength side. Talmud says, if not me, then who? If not now, then when? I would recommend the movie Mercy Black. It's basically about three friends when they were younger they got basically pushed into hurting each other because of some creepy person thing i don't know but it was some creepy spiritual thing called mercy black that basically pushed them to hurt each other and you know stuff just breaks out and it just tells the story throughout the course of their lives but yeah that movie was kind of weird but if you want to watch it, you go watch it. Here is the trailer. Can you remember anything from that day? I have filed the papers for your release. You've come so far. When you first came here, you were just suffering from undiagnosed juvenile pre-schizophrenia with a tendency toward self-induced hallucinations. He says so. I didn't think I'd ever see this place again. My mom's really glad you're here. Me too. It must feel pretty good to be out, huh? You must think about it though, right? I don't really remember. Two friends lure a girl into the woods, to stab her seven times, all for Mercy Black. Can you please not say that name? Mom, who's Mercy Black? Mercy Black went viral photos. Stories, copycat crimes. You brought the world a whole new nightmare. <laughs> Did you do something? Something that made them send you away? When I was your age, we played a game. We made a friend, someone who could protect us. She seeks out sad kids and she takes away what hurts them, but not for free. A perfect offering that will make her flesh and blood. I pretended that she could help me. Did she? She wasn't real. All these people were frightened. How can she not be real? <gasps> She's crazy! And you think your son's safe? He's not! What if I see Mercy Black? You won't. What if I do? Bryce? Who are you talking to? I was talking to her. What if I didn't make this up? What if there really is something that is out there? You talk about her like she's real. She's real enough. This is for you! This is our offering to give you life! We ain't doing it! I promise! Riverdale, season three.
Mary Riverdale season three. If you guys haven't watched it already, I don't know what to tell you. But like, everybody should know what Riverdale is about. But like, here's the trailer. Strange, dark times have fallen upon us. You have powerful enemies, Archie. You don't deserve this, Arch. Any of it. We'll get him home, Mary. One way or another. You think I did all this to hurt Archie, Mia? This is your punishment. You don't have a daughter anymore. Betty, please, join us. Everything that we talk about at the farm is kept in confidence. Are you out of your mind? Something weird is going on here. I spread your gospel. Soon they'll join us. We thought it was just a game. A stupid role-playing game, but it's not. It's so much more. What we're looking at here, I believe, is the true face of evil. Welcome to the pit. I saw Archie. He's caught up in some diabolical teen fight club. Behold the gargoyle king. You're asking me to play Russian roulette. I'm asking you to play Griffins and Gargoyles. Where did you get that book? Who gave this to you? This is not a game. You can't fight your destiny. Every cult has its king. All of this has to stop. watch 13 reasons why season three and people be like oh 13 reasons why is lame i don't like that movie okay y'all can shut up and it's not a movie it's a show it's my show Bye. but here's the trailer guys everybody should know what 13 reasons why is about by now deputy standal Here's the thing about the kids at Liberty High. They're connected by their secrets. Connected and forever changed. The truth is, given the right circumstances, the right motivation, anyone could have done this. what happened to my son if any of you know anything please say something okay and there's this series called tiger king it's basically about this man or whatever he kind of crazy he owned tigers and he had like an enemy her name was carol, carol basket Killed her. Kill Baskin. Y'all must have heard about her. All the songs they done put out about her. But yeah, her name is Carol Baskin. And she tries to save Wildcats. She basically don't like him because she feels as if he's not saving Wildcats. And he's basically making them his pets without, like, just making them his pets, just mistreating them. That's what she thinks. She thinks that he's mistreating him. I mean them. And he not, he not, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like he just he he don't like that, you know. So people say that he tried to kill her with some tiger of his or something. And people also say that she killed her ex husband or whatever. I don't know. I haven't finished it, but here's the trailer. <laughs> It's not every day that a zookeeper went to prison for murder for hire. There are more captive tigers in the U.S. than there are in the wild throughout the world. Animal people are nuts, man. They're all crazy. 
I'm sure y'all got a story to tell. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Joe Exotic, and this is Sarge. He was like a mythical character living out in the middle of bumfuck Oklahoma who owned 1,200 tigers and lions and bears and shit. Come here and love me. <laughs> Matt Spoken, good looking, love to party and have fun. I don't think we're done blowing shit up today. I don't think <laughs> you are. They have a heart and a soul and a mind. I've learned from them. But Carol Baskin hates saying, I can't have these tigers. If he ever had an enemy in his life, it was Carol Baskin. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens, it's Carol at Big Cat Rescue. Carol is the Mother Teresa of cats. We will end the private possession of these cats. This is my way of living, and nobody's going to tell me any otherwise. Carol has an army of people working for free. She's a plain out hypocrite. She literally does everything that I do. The Joe says, will you go to Florida and what? Kill that fucking lady. What a story. And it got way bigger. Sometimes they say that I'm the prototype for Scarface. We're supposed to be sexy and we're luring people in. You may now kiss the grooms. You're gonna have to kill me to shut me up. This is my first album, I Saw Tiger. There's 28 songs and 16 music videos. I saw Tiger, now I understand. I saw Tiger, Tiger saw me. I would also recommend you guys to watch the movie Freaks. It's about a family who were freaks which meant that they were just weird. Which meant that they were just weird. And if the government or whatever were to find them outside, they would get shot, which is bogus because why the fuck? Just let people live their life. But like, yeah, they were called freaks and they were just trying to survive. And I think it's a great movie. Watch the trailer. <laughs>
What do you say, Spence? Not much. How's it feel getting out? We have a little going away message for you. For me? Give him hell, Spencer. Gotcha. You made it. Try and stay on this side for a while. Let's go see your girlfriend. Five years ago, you got yourself sent to prison. What was I supposed to do, wait? I'm sorry. I love you! How do you like that? Let's go! Yo! Henry! What? You said I'd have my own room. Look, this is Spencer. Spencer, this is Hawk. You two are gonna be roommates. I'd like you two to get to know each other. Mi amigo! Hey, que pasa? You just got out? You're in big trouble. For what? You smashed the car through a restaurant! It's time you tell me what's really going on here. Picture this. Dirty cops, drug cartels, some big politicians all working together. When I was a cop, I was trying to take these guys down. But they framed me. So what's the plan? We're gonna blow this wide open. You want in? No, 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 no. You don't get the cold gun. Hawk is the name of a man with a shotgun. Spencer does your taxes. That was good. I'm gonna let you have your little gun. Who said the city on fire as soon as he got free? You never learn your lesson, do you? You were gonna do what was right. With your strong moral code. This isn't a vibe for Boy Scouts. I thought you knew how to punch. There were five of them. Ah! Bring them out, bring them out. You're about to walk barefoot to the gates of hell. That's how you throw a punch! Holy shit! You got two grown men running around playing Batman. Rob it. <laughs> and Alfred over here. Go for me, Alfred. Hey! So that is the video. Thank y'all for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below if y'all want to. And I'm sorry this video was so short. I'm just in a rush and I'm in a hurry. I might make a part two of this because I don't think that I gave y'all enough ideas. But I love y'all. Okay, goodbye. And I'll hit y'all up with the next one. Mwah.